This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm the lesson on the lesson functions with parameters. Multiplane controller. This program moves the three planes using the board Excel, uh, accelerometer uh, and the on-screen checkboxes right now. Right now, only the red plane works on screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are. Okay. Only the red plane works. Create a new move plane name function that can use that can move any plane. Ah, because this function stuck to only the red. We can fix that. Call the move plane name function. So with this name parameter inside the event block, such that it can move any plane it when its checkbox is checked. Challenge. Right now the planes move way too fast. Can you figure out how to change the code? so that they will move more slowly. Yes, I can. All right, let's first test out the red. So I'm going to hit run, and I have a feeling that I have to check this, right? So let's move this, though. Yeah, that does nothing. So I'm going to hit check that box, and now, wow, there went the plane. Okay, I see what they mean about movement speed, I guess. All right, so let's reset it. Now, we need to change this up. So I I want to get rid of red, and I want this function to work for everything. So it will just be move plane, like they asked. Now to add a parameter, I'm going to hit this arrow right here. And in this empty spot, I'm going to type in name, like they have. So what I'm going to put there is the plane's ID, right? Because that is what is used here. Set property red plane red plane x. So set the property of the red planes x. Well now when we call this function, we don't want it to only be the red plane, we want it to be whatever name we are using. So we're going to use the parameter name just like a variable because that's kind of what it is. So I got rid of red plane and I'm going to get rid of it down here because again, we don't want it to only work on red on anything that we call the function on. So I'm using my parameter name here and name over here as well. Now, what is name going to be? Well, I can demonstrate it here. Instead of having move plane, move red, I'm going to say move plane. Now I'm going to add a variable by clicking on this arrow. And now the variable here is going to be, well, our red planes ID is red plane. So in quotes, I'll be writing red, whoops, plane. Now, when this function if so if i'm moving the board right because on the board event of the accelerometer getting data the accelerometer is only getting data if it's moving so on the board event of the board moving this function is run if the if get checked red so if this box with the id of red is checked true this statement would be true and then it, this runs and what does it run it says move plane red plane and the computer says oh a function uh, uh, uh oh here it is move plane oh name name is red plane okay set property name uh set property name uh set property of the red plane x to be equal to so on and so forth so now we can change up whatever plane we want it to be instead of only having red because we use name 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 here like a variable would be we use the parameter instead of setting it to only work on a single thing so we need more function calls now under the if get check green so now we, we're also going to do if the green box is checked right if green is checked then it will run this function and it's going to still be move plane but instead of having it do work on the red plane we're going to have it make the green plane move i think that's what it's called yep and then finally Boom, my function is going to be uh, same thing, move plane, but now we want the, oops, not a cap, blue plane. Okay, and that should do that. Let's give it a shot. I'll do green. There goes green. Uh, oh, can we move multiple at a time? There goes that. And finally, let's red. Is red. Let's see run aha uh -huh, and they're all off together all right they move way too fast 
can you figure out how to change the code so they move more slowly? Hmm. Well, get property name, set property, set the X property to this. There's a couple things we can do here. So the X property is going to be set to this big thing. It's considering this is like a number, right? So I can break that out to make it a bit more clear. But actually what we want to focus on is not the original uh, X value. Get property name X is going to get the original X value of the, our element. So we want to leave that the same. We want to add to it, but we don't want to add as much as we are now. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put some, well, we don't really need to, but what I'm going to do is divide. Let's try this. We're going to divide this by two. So that should decrease the accelerometer get orientation roll effect. It should decrease the number while well, it should divide it by two. Let's give this a shot. Run. And so that's a bit slower, I think, but to be sure, let's slow it down by eight or divide it by eight. This should be really slow and we can see if it's working. Ah, there we go. So now it's definitely working and it should do that for all. But, uh, awesome. Let's keep going.